Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Maxine and if you are returning, I thank you for coming back and if you're new, thank you for checking out my video. I hope you will decide to stay a while. So it's October y'all and so you know what that means, fall ready wigs, wigs that are in beautiful colors and this is no exception. This is Kamaya, Utre's Kamaya in ginger brown and You've just got to keep watching to see how I got this like easy, easy, easy look. Before we get started, please consider subscribing. It'll help out my channel. I'm a new uh, content creator and as I'm learning about YouTube and the algorithm, you really need to have views and people like your videos in order for you to be pushed out to the masses. So I'm going to ask you to do me a solid and uh, like my video if you like it. If you like it, genuinely like it. I would appreciate a like. I would appreciate a subscribe because I do post videos every week and uh, turn on your post notifications so you will be notified every time I upload, okay? So that's it, let's get started. I'm just putting on my wig grip. I like wearing a wig grip because it helps to hold my wig in place. I don't use the combs in the front and as a matter of fact, I actually had cut out the combs in the front of this particular wig. Y'all see this color? This is ginger brown and it is just so pretty. It's so, it just screams fall. Check out that hairline. Can y'all see how nice the hairline is? It is not gonna require any plucking. It looks really good. For those of you who are new to wearing wigs and you're just getting into lace fronts, one of the things you have to do is make sure to smooth back the hair. I didn't do any wax stick or any heat or water because honestly the hair was staying in place so I didn't need to do that. I'm just using some scissors now to cut off the lace. I like to cut it in sections, it makes it a little easier to cut. Here I'm just using a bit of Ebens to secure the front of the wig. I'm using one layer, but if I were going to actually wear this wig out for the day, I would put on two or three, so it would have a nice hold. You're gonna see later on that uh, the sides actually didn't melt, but that's okay. It's a middle part wig, and uh, I was just wearing the wig for the demo. All right, I still use uh, this elastic melting band a lot. I really like it because I can secure it pretty tight. What you don't see in editing is that it took about 10 to 15 minutes is how long I would usually hold uh, the band or wear the band before taking it off. Now you're gonna see my hot mess. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're supposed to uh, dab it on your hand, but um, I thought a shortcut would work. It did not. Don't do what I did. I was using that to tint the front of the lace so it would blend into my skin. Here I'm just adding a little powder to the part to make it pop. And voila, she's already looking like she just might be growing out of my head. It's a really nice texture, y'all. It's... um. You know, kind of on the yakky side, it really mimics uh, African-American hair that has been blown out. Don't wanna be stuck in a spot. Okay, and so you can see I'm feeling myself. I absolutely am in love with the final result. 
She's just pretty. The color is just, she makes me wanna go out. <laughs> she makes me wanna leave the house like right now and floss in her because she's just that girl. Look at that hairline. She is hair lining. I mean, she really looks good. I really love the way they blended the color from the dark root to the ginger. It's just perfection. Okay. So, okay, y'all just watched me install Kamaya. So let me, let me just show you. This is Utre's Kamaya from the Melted Hairline series. And I have her in the color Ginger Brown. And I just love her. I mean, she just looks really, really pretty. Now, if I'm being honest, this is not my first go round with Kamaya. I got on the Kamaya tip two years ago. I think she came out two years ago, or was it last year? I don't remember. But anyway, whenever she came out, I watched a ton of reviews and I fell in love with her. And I had purchased her in a natural color and in red velvet. So I had purchased her in natural and cherry red. And I thought the wig itself was really pretty. I've got some things to say about it. Um, I loved the cherry red color. It was just phenomenal. I rocked it. But you know, I had to come back and get another one. And I thought, why not go with Ginger Brown? Because it screams October, it screams fall, it screams pumpkin patch and pumpkin lattes. Um, she's just a really, really pretty wig. Okay, so she's pretty, but she's not without her flaws. So let's just talk about uh, the cap construction and everything first, and then I'll get into my pros and cons. So you saw in the, in the beginning that you know, she was a little thin on the inside. So she's a ventilated cap. I'm sorry I didn't show you the inside. What you're gonna find is that most wigs will have the two standard combs in the front and a comb in the back, okay, with adjustable straps. So Kamaya had adjustable straps that I cut out because she's fitting pretty snug on my head, more than pretty snug, she's pretty snug. And I have a head size of about 23.5. She's Big Head Associate, more so than Big Head Friendly, because to me, Big Head Friendly means I've got lots of space. Now, this is not to say that she doesn't fit. She does, she does fit. And what you'll see is, you know, even though I sprayed the edges, I, you know, I know that for, especially for a wig that is a little snug, I've got to do two and three layers, right? Maybe even sometimes four layers of spray. And I didn't do that because I'm just doing this, uh, I put her on just for, uh, this this review and so I knew that if anything I just really needed this part to lay flat and if this came up even though I melted it that I would I was fine with that because you're not going to see it and so that actually is a great segue into for those of you who you know you don't really want to lay lace and you don't want to necessarily do the entire periphery of your head you don't have to you can simply wear this um glueless actually especially if it fits your head well you can wear it glueless or you can decide to use adhesive and you saw me use the Eben um, Wonder Lace spray in the black can I really like this one really only needs one always right here only needs one and so that's pretty secure right that's pretty secure which is nice so Kamaya is a center part I tend to be a center part person so I just love this look it's like it's classic you know she's got these really loose 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 waves um, I don't even know if you could say they're waves. It's more like a quick bump. That's what I'll say. It's not really a wave. So she's got like this really loose bump, but you know, it's nice. She's got these layers. You can see down here. Let me just show you, you know, let me, let me sit up a little bit so you can see, right? She's got these fantastic, fantastic layers, right? And then you can see the layering here. So yeah, she's really... She's really pretty. It's got a dark root that then leads into the ginger. So she just looks really natural. And then I don't know if you could see, like really look at this hairline. So this is why they call it the melted hairline because it's pretty melted. Like it looks really good. And had I, you know, done the entire periphery, the entire periphery would be melted. So I, I think it looks natural. It's good. It's a good density. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. Now, while I say that it's a good density in terms of appearance, but I showed you when I had it on the mannequin head that it is a little thin up in here. Like I do feel the tracks, 
I can absolutely feel the tracks, but you don't see them. So let me turn around and show you that, okay? And hopefully I'm in view of the camera where you can see that you don't, you can't see the tracks, but I do feel them. So keep that in mind. Um, it is, you know, it is on the thinner side. It's not very full. However, for the style, the density is actually really nice. Okay. It's actually really nice. It gives, it gives more natural. So I feel like you could actually wear this every day. Okay. It comes in a bunch of specialty colors. So you can get this in a blonde. You can get this in hazelnut, strawberry gold. It, I mean, and of course the natural colors and the natural colors are very pretty. So here's what it looks like on the inside, just so you get a sense of what is also available. There's the back of the care card. She is heat safe up to uh, 400, so you could put a little bit of heat on her. Is she going to, you know, tangle and shed? Yes. I can tell you that for certain because of my um, experience with, I mean, this is my third Kamaya. So right there, that ought to tell you something. I really like this wig because it's my third Kamaya. However, she's, like I said, she's not without flaw, right? She's beautiful, but she's not without flaws. So she will tangle a bit. Now she's, I didn't experience a ton of tangling, to be honest. I mean, she does tangle at the nape. That's what synthetic wigs do. Though I mean, it comes with the territory of synthetic. She will, and she will shed, but she's not a horrible shedder. Lace is really good. Lace is really thin, so it's going to melt really well, and you just have to tint the lace to your skin color. One of the best parts about this is the price point. Y'all, this is really, really beautiful. I mean, this beautiful wig, the it's running for around $35, and that's with the specialty colors. So this ginger brown is $35, which means that the natural colors are probably running somewhere around $30, $32, right? So this is, I think, amazing to be able to get this unit for that price point. So I might actually be picking up a few more because, um, you know, this may go out of stock and not be replenished. And then I'll be really sad because I just think that this is a gorgeous everyday wig if this is your jam. That's it for, for Miss Kamaya. I think she's wonderful. You should go and pick her up. I will provide a Google link and you can shop at any vendor of your choice to get her. And like I said, she's running in that $35 uh, price range. <laughs> Don't okay. forget to like this video if you like it. If you think that, you know, tell me, you know, if you are into this color, first of all, are you into the fall colors? What's your favorite color? Is there a wig that you're dying to see in a particular color? Let me know. I may already have it. My stock is crazy. Or I may be able to just get it and, uh, and review it for you. So let me know if there's a wig in a particular color that you're interested in. I've got a bunch of wigs coming. Oh my goodness. I have so many great fall color wigs coming. And so I'm so excited to make these videos. So please come back and hang out. Subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.